Right, good morning everybody. It's the 17th of September. The passage for this morning is John 1 verses 1 to 13. We feel really privileged to have been given this passage because it's arguably one of the most important passages in the Bible because it focuses on the deity of Christ. And the first verse says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now that's really important uh, for Jehovah's Witnesses who don't believe uh, in the deity of Christ and that he's only a, a perfect man have actually mistranslated deliberately this, this verse um, in their Jehovah's Witness Bible to read that the word was a God. And yet in other parts of the Bible they've translated this word theos um, as God. So obviously it was convenient to um, change it. Mm. Yes, it's a great passage. Um, so it begins, uh, it's the starting point to John's Gospel, obviously. The other three Gospels are known, Matthew, Mark, Luke, as the synoptic Gospels, um, uh, which means same optics. It means looking at Jesus' life through the same lens, and, and you see the same style of telling the stories, reporting his parables, etc. Whereas John um, is not part of that synoptic uh, tri tri uh, triad, um, it's written much more for the academic Greek um, who might have been open to um, falling away through uh, odd theology. So it clarifies a lot of things. And in fact, um, John writes later in John 20, um, 31, These words are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. That, that's the purpose mm -hmm. of this gospel. And it starts with a bang, saying exactly that. In the beginning was the Word, uh, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The, the Greek actually says, and God was the Word. It's the other way around, actually. But what it's really saying is that God and Jesus and the Word are all wrapped in in one amazing bundle, which is the embodiment of truth. Yeah. And for the Jewish believers, they were struggling to, to know, well, how, how does what's been written before fit in with, with Jesus' life. And this gospel starts off to say it all fits together. They, they all fit together. And if you want to know Jesus, therefore, you need to get into his word. I think it was John Wimber that was praying for people after a, 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 a conference, and a man was there with his Bible wanting to be prayed for, and the man said to John Wimber, I want to get to know Jesus more. And John Wimber took the Bible from him and then put it back in his hands and said, there you have it. Get into that and you will get to know Jesus more. It's a secretary. It's a bit like me as a husband wanting to be treated like a king, which is not a very noble aspiration, I know. But if you want to be treated like a king as a husband, you treat your wife like a queen and then you might get treated like a king. It's a secretary. And, and getting into the word is followed by getting to know Jesus better. The passage goes on to say that a man was sent from God called John who came to be witness to the light. And it, it was that he would testify concerning the light that all might believe through him. And it, he says clearly, John says, he himself was not the light. And it just made me think that it's very easy when we're sharing our testimony and wanting people to believe um, that we can slip into talking very much about ourselves without necessarily giving God the glory and the reason for our testimony. And we are not the light. We are there to give testimony to the light. That's great. And as, as uh, Christians, we can uh, try and attract people to ourselves sometimes rather than to the kingdom, uh, which is so key. Um, but this passage up to verse 13 finishes with this amazing promise that um, though the world uh, did not recognise him, uh, to those who do receive him, he gives the right to become the children of God. Mm -hmm. And we need to bear in mind two things from that. Firstly, that more people will reject Jesus than they will accept him. 
we've said that many times and it's true there's a there's a, a much smaller return than we would wish uh, but that's how it is in the kingdom but uh, don't give up because to those who do receive him he gives this amazing right and from what i said earlier to receive jesus it is sort of like to receive his word and so we can say to people, read John's Gospel or listen to this audio of John's Gospel. Mm -hmm. And if they do, they're beginning to receive Jesus mm -hmm. because Jesus and the Word and God are all tied up in one. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's an amazing promise uh, which should spur us on to keep mm -hmm. giving testimony uh, mm -hmm. and praying for those that respond. Mm -hmm. uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.